Hey guys, so just a few, a uh, couple disclaimers. Uh, number one, I have a cold, um, and the beginning of the video um, is when I just woke up, so I'm very, very congested. <laughs> so I sound a little weird, and I'm a little like, you can tell I'm tired, but anyways. And then also, the audio during a couple of those clips where I'm sitting in front of the tank is a little quiet, um, a little muffled, because I put my polyp lens on my camera, my front camera, and I didn't realize I was blocking my microphone. So um, that won't happen again, obviously, because I know better now. But I wanted to include those clips because they were like my real reactions to the box getting here and everything. So I didn't want to take them out. But um, yeah, so, oh, and one more, one more disclaimer. Um, I know that the Tang and the other fish um, are not supposed to be in a 20 gallon tank. I know this. Um, I promise I know this. The tang is only in there. The tang and this other fish are only in here temporarily while I finish buying more fish from my other tank, more peaceful fish from my other tank. Because this new fish I got and the tang are a little more on the aggressive side, I didn't, and I got them first, I didn't want to put them in the tank first because. I don't want to have territorial problems between the fish, if that makes sense. So super temporary, once I get most of the fish that I want to put in the tank that are peaceful, then I will put the tang and this new fish in that tank, and yeah, that tank is not permanent at all. Um, it's also just, it's not permanent at all, so don't worry about that. Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and... Let's get started. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mac here. So today is going to be a very, very, very exciting day. I ordered some fish off of Live Aquaria um, and for my 70 gallon reef and I am so excited. My tank has been through a lot. It has, oh my gosh, long story short, it went through marine velvet and literally all my fish died. I just, it got, I just realized it when it was too late. So yeah, it is almost 10 o'clock and I'm so congested, oh my god. It is almost 10 o'clock and my package is scheduled to arrive at 10.30 this morning. Um, it could have even gotten here now, I don't really know yet, so we'll see. But. I am so, so excited, and I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to unbox it with you guys. And I'll tell you what I got when I unbox it, so. Okay, so, just looked on my tracking number, and the package is here. Supposedly, the fish are here. And I'm the only one awake right now. I can't see the box. Oh, I see them. Oh, that was... They didn't put it up the right way. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and they put it. Oh my gosh. Stupid as me. I got the box. I got the box. I really hope the fish are okay. Because they put the box on its side. And it's supposed to be like up. Not on its side. Because there's live animals in here. Oh my gosh, but mailmen don't listen, so love that. <sighs> okay, so we got the box. I'm a little worried. Because they put it on its wrong side. So, hope they're all okay. Hope there isn't water all over the place. But we're going to open this up. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna hold it like this because my tripod's being like down. Okay. Acclimation guides. I have like a million of those. Here they all are. Okay, I hope everything's okay. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take out this one. Oops. Oof, they're all blacked out. Okay. So you can kind of see right there, that looks like one of the female Antheus. Okay, we 
got her. We got her. Ooh, this is the Lubox Fairy Rass. Here we have the other female Anthea. This would be is the male Anthea. Oh yeah, he's right there. Okay guys, so I took out all of the packing peanuts and just kind of set them in here. I'm gonna cut open their bags and, uh, well actually I'm gonna float them for 30 minutes. Okay guys, so everyone is floating in the tank and we're gonna leave these guys in here for 30 minutes to get acclimated to the temperature and then we're gonna drip back the meat. I have something else to do, which I meant to do, but I got excited and put them all in there. I'm actually putting the rafts in this 20 gallon as well. There's my mimic tank, hey babe. He's a little baby. He's only been in here for a few days as well, so I'm hoping he's not super aggressive. Also because he's a baby, he won't be too crazy and a little more freaked out. He just picked at all the seaweed, so there's seaweed floating around all over the place, huh? Yeah. His name's Lil Lemon. That's his name. That's what I named him. Because ever since I saw him, I started calling him Lil Lemon. And he's not quite used to me yet, so he's like hiding when I walk near. But, um, yeah, he's doing... Great, Lil Lemon's doing great in here. Okay guys, so my 30 minute timer just went off for the fish. So these are the two female Antheas, and then there's the male Anthea over there, and then the brass is over there. So now what we are going to do is we are going to drip acclimate these guys. Now because they should be accustomed to the temperature, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm scared. I'm a little scared because I don't want these guys to die. I really don't want them to. I want them to be okay. Yeah, so after I acclimate them to the temperature, kind of how I do things is I put them back in the uh, insulated container that they come in and I open the bags and then I acclimate them all. So I'm just gonna kind of show them all to you guys if I can. This is the male liar tail um, Anthea. Here's one of the females. She is right there. And then here is the other female. And then here is the Lubux Fairy Rass. He's right there. Okay guys, so I've been acclimating these fish for about hour 45 minutes now and it's time to put them in the tanks i'm so excited the water in their bags have tripled so it's time i'm ready are you ready i'm so excited None of them have pecked at each other yet, so that's good. And none of them have hidden yet from each other. Okay, things getting closer. Ooh, they're both like, what the heck? Oh, I'm a little scared. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on because Rass's jump or the net, not really the hood.
hope you guys enjoyed this video of me acclimating my fish. Um, really hope the wrasse and the tang kind of get it together. I don't really want to put either of them in the big tank yet. I thought it'd be okay because the tang's only been there for like a day or two. And he was with other fish and the other tank at the, at the fish door. Um, mm. In a little while, if it's still happening, I'll put him in a little uh, box at the top to where they can get more acquainted. So, okay. Um, all right, I'll see you guys later. This is Mac. Peace. Hey guys, so it's actually a few days later, and um, those videos you saw of the Tang and the Rass and the Antheas um, a few days later are actually videos I took this morning. But um, anyways, so everyone's doing really good. The t this is my brother, Brayden. Anyways, everyone's doing really good. The Tang stopped nipping at the Rass, so they're both doing really good and um i was actually away for the weekend and last night i came home and i saw that the wrasse was like laying down on top of one of the fake corals i have in there and <laughs> i was really worried i was really scared i was like oh my gosh is he like dead so i was thinking i was like okay well he doesn't look dead you know how fish like you can tell when they're dead so he didn't like look dead he still like looked alive and had all his color and everything so i did some research and i thought oh well maybe he's just sleeping and i did some research and there were people that said that fairy wrasses can sleep weird sometimes and i did some research and i was like okay well i think he's just asleep so i'll go to bed and see what's happening the next day went to bed last night and woke up this morning. He was swimming around completely fine, ate fine. Um, he's doing really good, everyone's doing really good. But I just think it's so funny that that's how he sleeps. It, that's like, <laughs> anyways, so yeah, thought I'd include that, but yeah, so funny. I was like, oh my gosh, he was asleep. <laughs> just taking a nap. He just like lays down and takes a nap. Like, I love that, okay. Anyways, so, um, now it's the end of the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.